Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so glad to see you today. Welcome again. Another Monday. And bless you. Bless you all. Guess what? We're going to shave again. Go figure that. And this is episode 161. Yeah, 161. All right. Today I'll be shaving, shaving with the Tampa Shave Company's Blackout Razor. Lovely. In here I have the... Which blade is it again? It is the... Um, hmm. It is the Derby Extra Blade. I think I've got three shaves or four shaves on this one now. So, we'll be giving that a good try once again. Top side, the Moto Head Blade. That's right. Yep, the Moto Head Blade. <laughs> got a little story about this soap. First of all, this is Barrister and Man's Lava Oceana. I'm gonna be using this. Here is a look inside the tin for you. Very nice. And not only that, but uh, <laughs> I lost this. <laughs> it fell off a cabinet I had and rolled behind it, and I couldn't find it for weeks. I've been dying to use it again. So guess what? I get to use it again. Yay! I'm going to follow it up with, uh, with the uh, Lava Oceana Post, Post Shave Splash. That's the aftershave for today. And then I will be using my Galaxy 24mm synthetic brush. And of course, the lovely new shiny bowl. Yes, that's right. Georgetown Pottery Shave Scuttle. And mmm, nice and warm. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing great. Let's get started, shall we? Come with me for the soapy. Gentlemen, here we go. Once again, we're getting ready to, to kick it up a notch. <laughs> no, I'm not Emeril Lagasse. Nice try. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our lovely leather. Lovely leather. And I'm going to go ahead and hydrate my bowl. My bowl? No, my brush. Good as six alive. I can't think inside the box this morning. What's up with that? All right, let me put the scuttle off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna load up this brush. That's right. We're gonna get a good load on this, baby. Yes. I pray the Lord is blessing you, watching over you. You are in my prayers. I wanna pray for all my listeners, and I wanna encourage you because you guys are great. All of you who watch me, you're great. I just thank the Lord for each and every one of you. I ask for the Lord's guidance and leadership in your life, and that He would bless you. He would. I would pray He would bless your socks off. Yeah, that's it, right there. Okay, I'm getting a nice load on this brush now. There we go. Pretty solid. Look at that. And I'm going to put that in the bowl. I'll move the shaving scuttle in the view now. Okay, very good. I'm just going to clean out some of this extra fluff inside here. Keep the soap kind of cleaned up looking here. There we go. Very good. All right. And now, we'll go ahead and give our lovely uh, scuttle a work over. Let me see if I can get this light a little more adjusted here for you so you can see a little better. Okay, not adding any water to start. I am just going to whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> for all you Devo fans out there. Goodness sakes, what a strange group. But it's fun, you know. Okay. Wow. And this is whipping very, very well. I'm very pleased already. Yes, I pray that you're having a good day. And by the way, Jesus has risen from the dead, you know. That's what I'm going to talk about today. 
because you know some people are of the mindset that that just simply cannot happen well we're going to talk about witnesses of that event and it's a wonderful thing okay I do believe I've got myself maximum frothiness look at that Wow all right let me set this up ahead here for you and now I am going to grab God's Word and we shall read from God's Word this is coming to us today from 1st Corinthians chapter 15 starting at verse 3 and going hmm. well I'm gonna go all the way to verse 11 why not from 3 to 11 this is what it says for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures that he was buried that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas then to the twelve then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time most of whom are still alive though some have fallen asleep then he appeared to James then to all the apostles last of all as to one untimely born he appeared also to me for I am least of the Apostles unworthy to be called an Apostle because I persecuted the Church of God but by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace toward me was not in vain on the contrary he worked harder than any of them though it was not I but the grace of God that is with me whether then it was I or they so we preach and so you believed all right you guys there you go there's God's Word for us this morning all right you guys let's continue upstairs for the shave and the devotion yay welcome back nah well we're gonna get started now let's see here we need of course that sloppy floppy towel which is extremely sloppy floppy right now but don't worry, we're going to take care of that by rigging it out pretty good. Now we're going to keep that thing loaded nice. Alright, here we go. It's time to present the towel. Present the towel. Yes, indeed. Ah, <sighs> very nice. You know, there always seems to be a question in people's mind over whether or not Jesus rose from the dead. Now, keep in mind, our scientific, logical minds would say, that's impossible. But guess what? It's not impossible. In fact, it's probable. More than probable. It's absolute. Have you ever witnessed anything? Let's take 911. I would almost believe that uh, quite a few of you have seen what happened on 911. Remember that day? Remember what you were doing? Huh? What were you doing? Well, most of us were sitting in front of the boob tube, you know, watching TV. And we heard about what happened. In fact, I had, I had uh, just gotten off work, and I worked in a mall area, and uh, 
I remember that day very distinctly. Look at myself. Wow. This is really going down. And I went home and watched the TV. Here we go. First pass. Yep, I remember that. And I was horrified at what I was seeing, along with all of the world. I'm not in a good situation. Now, discounting all of this, all of the conspiracy theory stuff, you know, if you want to get into that, you're welcome to, but just for the sake of argument, How many people saw that happen? It has to be millions of people. When you consider all the, all the things going on, all the networks being covered, I'm having a problem translating. I'm sorry. I really need to set up a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this on the video and it's flip-flopped, so if you're wondering why I'm kind of unsure of myself, this is the reason. So I think in other videos I'm going to set up a mirror. Okay, plus I'm getting a little nicky already. Oh no! The point is, you know, people saw what was going on. There was no guessing about it. It wasn't as if, you know, people had to say, that never happened. People both view it in real time as it actually occurred. And people viewed it in all kinds of other ways. On TV, through the internet, wherever. You know? Suck a pass. Here we go. <laughs> I have to giggle every time I use this <laughs> warm leather. Oh, it feels so good. Wonderful. So, do you understand where I'm going with this? We do not have an account that Jesus faked his death and faked his resurrection. Jesus truly died on the cross for your sins. He really did. And it really happened. And once again, it was witnessed. There's no getting around this. You know, okay, back then they didn't have the wonderful uh, magic and the ability to uh, take a look at the internet, to preserve on video or photograph the things that had happened. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Because people saw Jesus. I'm serious. People saw him. The account that I just read, over 500 people saw him at one time. This is after the fact of his suffering, his death and burial. They saw him. They seen him in his resurrected body. Ooh, think about that. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, very nice shape so far. Pleasantly surprised. Yes. And now we're gonna do against the grain. Yeah. People saw him. When you're an eyewitness to something, you verify that it's true. Now think about this. Things happened before our time that we did not witness. How about the assassination of Lincoln? Is there any video of that? I don't think so. And where did it happen? In a theater. So were there witnesses? Yes, there were. Alright, I'm just getting tricky now. Ah, uh, never slide. Never slide. <laughs> your razor sideways on your face. I definitely gotta get a mirror. Oh my goodness, six alive. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself if I don't. One moment. I got a mirror now. I'll just set it down here. Or over here. Okay. Oof. That was hard to do. So getting back to Abraham Lincoln, were you born at that time? Did you witness it with your own eyes? No, you didn't. And yet that theater was full of people and they witnessed his death. Did Lincoln live? Was he really a president? Or was all of this a scam? You see what I'm saying? People witnessed what happened. It really did happen. This is not an aberration. This is not some kind of fake news. No. He got shot. It happened in that theater. And people saw it. My friends, Jesus is no different. The apostles, Cephas, the, the women at the tomb, the apostles, and Paul himself, who's just beside himself, the fact that he had persecuted the Church of Christ. Even he got to see him, which he's simply amazed by. <laughs> it was witnessed by real eyes and real people and recorded for us to know, just like Lincoln. Guess what? It really happened. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. He has victory over sin over death and the power of the devil. And he has done it, my friends, for you. Wow. <laughs> that is just amazing. Okay, well, guess what? It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go.
Wow! I feel pretty good about that. It went very well, thank you. Alright, you guys, it's time for... The Aftershave. Let's go ahead and... Put a little on our hands and... Oh, wow! That's very soothing. No burn. Zero zilch not on the burn. Must have no alcohol in it. Which probably means it won't do much for getting these nicks to stop bleeding. But it sure smells fabulous. Very nice set. I can smell the ocean. Mm hmm. All right, you guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may he give you Nick free and baby butt smooth shaves. Remember, Jesus has risen from the dead. It was witnessed by people with real eyes and real lives in this world. Never forget that. Place your hope in Christ who is your resurrection and your salvation. See you later, everyone. Turtles!